Hi guys and welcome back for another easy quick tips. Uh, we have an Ender 3 here in the shop that needs a firmware update. I just want to show you uh, how to determine if your printer doesn't have a bootloader yet. Okay, so I'm gonna plug in the USB cable. It should automatically detect. And uh, make sure that your COM port is correct number three and once we upload this code you will see a specific error which will get into there you go uh, once you see this error which is the STK 500 and uh, underscore get sync it means that your printer doesn't have a bootloader yet so what we need to do is to flash a bootloader to your printer in order to upload the firmware Okay, now the most easiest way to upload a bootloader is to get one of these. Uh, this is a USB ASP loader, and we only need to plug this in, run the boot or burn the bootloader, and then we will be able to flash the new firmware, which we will do right now. I will do it uh, with my laptop because it's easier. Do it that way. Just make sure you have this connector correctly remove the USB cable and then we just need to access my laptop for this bring it in uh, make sure that uh, it is set to sanguino at mega and the program to USB ASP sorry you can't see this part but it's just one click of a button burning bootloader and done burning bootloader it's that simple i just plug this in hit one button and it's already good now i will remove this right and get the usb cable back now it doesn't it won't show any uh anything on the LCD because we wiped it with a new bootloader and then if we upload the code this may take a while maybe a minute or two but you will see that it will be able to uh, fully and completely upload the code and there you have it we have successfully uploaded a new code and uh, burned a bootloader to this old Ender 3 right Thank you guys for watching.